What's up, folks? Been a while since I've done a video. I wanted to do this before the grass got tall, but I didn't get to it. We had tons and a rain at once, and then it quit. We had a, it was dry, and then it was wet. But, anyways, this was supposed to be all bailed. This is where the brush pile was last year where I caught those coyotes right here. And we got it all burnt and shoved off what was left and tried to replant right in here. That field got down to the left, up to the next brush pile. Didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but this was supposed to be bailed. He ain't gonna bail it, I have no idea why. He's gonna come through here and cut this with a brush hog and all that. He's still got a bunch of work to do up there where there was another brush pile. But anyways, this, I'm doing this video on, uh, this is my uh, dirt mound set. I got this idea last year when I was across the road at the bean field. And my first catch off the coyote, he went around in circles and around in circles and mounded the dirt up. Well, I dug it out in, in a type of trench type set, but I call it my mound set, dirt mound set. I got a bunch of dirt, which I'm going to do another video on, for trapping. Got a scoop of dirt, brought it home in my truck, sifted it all out. I had dirt left, so. Anyways, this is my dirt mound set. I hope you guys can see it. It's sunny. And by the way, I don't know how it is in your type of part of the country, but it's hotter than the SOB here. I probably go through two pair of clothes a day and two showers. But this is where it went up into the brush set last year. I caught two coyotes here, three coyotes, something like that. But I mounted dessert up right there where that stick is, is where my trap bed is going to be. Now, when you do this set, let me look at it. You don't want to do too much of a long trench. See, I had it out to here and I shoveled some back this way. You get a big long trench going and they have to travel so far up in there, they ain't gonna wanna do that. So, bear with me folks, I'm sweating, I'm wiping my sweat, okay. You gonna see this wheelbarrow here? I had two loads of dirt in that, so that's what this is. Pile it up. This stick here is where my trap bed is. You're not going to want to get too close to here. You're going to want to leave a space there. And then, uh, I haven't got it. I've got to get it. And I'm not probably going to put it in until trapping season. You're going to get you a, probably a 12 inch piece of half inch PVC. Cut it off about 12 inches long. And then right in the side of that bed. Right there. You're going to drive it straight in. Not... Not straight up and down like this. You want that baby straight in. Because if you don't, you drive it straight up and down, they're going to come from here behind. And they can see right down into the pipe. Do not. I'm telling you, you won't have any success straight up and down. Drive that pipe in there. Well, they got to come into the front here to get to it. You got your sides. They're not going to come over the top of that. I've had good experience with this dirt mound set across the road. High success rate. I think I'm going to have good success right here this year on this one. Uh, white PVC, 
12 inches long, half inch. You put it right about in the middle and drive it straight back. Put your bait inside the hole. You can put your lure on the outside edge of the pipe. Works perfectly. Uh, yeah, a person that's not going to want to take two loads of dirt out and do every one of them in a mound set. If you're in a bean field, you can take the dirt, mound it up, get you a cement trowel with a handle on it like a rake. You're going to stand right in the middle of it and you're going to pull the dirt towards you. Just like this, all around it. And you're going to make it look like a catch circle. You're going to mound that dirt up and then you're going to do your set. Start your path out a little wider in the very beginning and then get it skinnier down to the width of your trap because you don't want him stepping on either side of your trap you want him stepping right in the middle of it so start it out a little wider and get it skinnier you're going to probably want 12 10 to 12 inches I ain't got a ruler so I don't know what that is I'm just doing it by memory of doing my trap last year but you can see You distinguish how far you think that is it's at least 10 inches and you only want about an inch of your PVC pipe hanging out of that don't leave 10 inches hanging out of that hole of pipe that's gonna scare them do not inch inch and a half is long enough for that pipe to be hanging out the back of that you're going to scare them with that much pipe hanging out. Trust me. Uh, get your trap set in nice and tight. I got this all packed down. You're going to want to pack it down too. Now I have the summertime for this thing to form into a hard, hard dirt. Come trapping season... I'm just going to set my trap in here. I already got my stake in the ground. Got the stick there to tell me where it is. Set my PVC pipe. Put my bait and lure in it. And this one's done. So I've been wanting to do this one. So Y'all try this. Yeah, I think you'll have high success rate. I've tried trench sets where I dig out the ground and make them try to walk down inside of them and they will not go. And if you do this, you're going to want to do this sloping downhill. Don't slope it with the opening uphill. See, I'm going uphill. You want to slope it downhill. They ain't going to go from a downhill slope. Sorry. There's people might catch them off there, but here it doesn't do it. Go uphill. Opening up. Find you a hill and set you a dirt mound set there. Or you're out in a bean field, corn field, whatever. I got me a nice, almost look like a cat circle. I'm going to get them interested in this. I'm probably going to. Put me a little lure up on the edge of that and see if I can get them to come up in here and they're going to know it's here. And then come trapping season, I'm going to nail their asses. Uh, caught 12 coyotes this last year. Uh, I'm not going to have any great expectations on myself. Uh, but I'm going to at least, I'm, I'm going for 20 this year. So, stick with me guys, and I've been wanting to do more videos, but I caught little fish, and I'm not going to film little fish. Uh, I'm going to do another one on my dirt, and show you how I do it, and I use it in little 
put it in jugs after I sift it and dry it. And I, in places that I need extra dirt, I'll have surf, sifted extra dirt. I probably got enough for two, three trapping seasons now. So I'll show you how I do that. And I'll be doing another one on my, all my lures and my new baits and lures. I uh, got new traps. Two dozen Bridger number two Douglas. I'll be boiling those and painting them. Uh, I got some Victors I've been working on that I used last year. I'll be boiling them and painting them. I got to pressure wash them first. And I got all my Dukes. I got them to pressure wash them and use them as backups. So... If you're not subscribing to me, subscribe. I'll have more videos coming and come trapping season. I'll be catching the heck out of them. So hit that subscribe button. Comment if you'd like. Uh, hope this all helps you. Have any questions about it, hit the comment down there in the comment box. And I'll get right back with you as soon as I can. All right. Thank you, folks. This is Man Within Outdoors. And I'm out of here. It's hot. Later.